Hi, my name is Michelle Miyagi, and today I would like to talk about your ACE score. In recent years, they have done studies on neurobiology in response to developmental trauma and toxic stress, uh, adverse childhood events, and they developed a screening protocol called the ACE score, which scores tallies up um, traumatic events you've experienced before the age of 18. And they have discovered that in a, not only that it impacts your mental health um, as far as anxiety, depression, and addiction, uh, it can also affect your biology, your physical health, as far as your chance of heart disease, strokes, autoimmune deficiencies, etc. So this is like groundbreaking work which can impact your whole lifetime health. Um, so in recent years, they've done lots of neurobiology experiments and tests and studies and all the research is supporting some things that we've already known that, that help uh, heal from trauma like meditation and yoga and acupuncture. And they've also developed um, some therapies as far as multidisciplinary integral therapies where they'll have the physician and a social worker and a psychiatrist, all working with the children and the families to help heal them. And this is just so exciting to hear. And they've also uh, started some school programs where they screen for the ACE score and then start treatment from there. So what they're finding is that developmental trauma in childhood uh, can impact you for the rest of your life. And even as adults, uh, if you do your ACE score and it's high, then you can start, you know, once you have that knowledge, you can start um, practicing things that will help you mitigate the damage. Um, also, they have um, developed some other uh, mental health therapies which can help uh, heal the trauma like EMDR, uh, which is fascinating um, and has had dramatic results. So to create a healthy environment and an oasis in your home, I think a good place to start is to take your ACE score and to see if maybe there are some things from your past that need to be healed. I know that often uh, abuse is repeated because that's what people have learned and they've been traumatized and they get triggered and they repeat the same things. Um, and so it's just an ongoing issue from generation to generation. They've also studied uh, epigenetics, which shows that the uh, trauma can be passed down in the genes uh, uh, from the chemicals that bathe the DNA. So this is a uh, like a health epidemic as far as toxic stress and trauma. If we could get at the root problem and heal it, then we could have such a much healthier world. And that all starts with each individual person uh, trying to do the best for themselves and taking the time to self-reflect and question uh, how healthy are you? And the good place to start would be to take your ACE score. You can find it online. And um, I'm really excited about this. I've been reading about it and uh, there's so much. We're just at the beginning stages of all of this. And hopefully everybody will eventually know about it and it'll be in routine screening for everybody and people will get healthier and we can stop the cycle. So thank you.